Inspired by World of Darkness, Vampire the Masquerade, and all of the lore there, we have a massive overhaul mod that lets you play as an immortal vampire. Can't produce children biologically, but you can sire new vampires. It does have a cost, but it's an organic way for you to increase your own numbers if you so choose to. It's a choice now, not just a happy little accident. And here you have your faith, your religion, which is really the foundation of all of the tenets that you would base your society on. There are many laws over here that all pertain to vampiric activities, like over here, Diablerie. It's criminal to consume other vampires. That is a thing that is seen as a great wrong. Then over here you have the Masquerade, which is all about not letting humans, mortals, know about the existence of your kind. And there's many other types of guidelines or laws here that you can look at too. There's also spells too which you can improve over time. Vlad here, that one famous Vlad is able to shapeshift, spawn minions, call animals to his cause and so forth to spawn my army. There's other choices but here we have ghouls. That's going to be probably 200. You'll have to spend 100 piety, 50 for your gold. There's a chance for your hunger to go up too, that means you need to feed. To feed, you just come over here to find mortals and you can choose what you want to feed upon. If you want the good stuff, the good blood, why don't you pick the clergy? Now, each one's going to have a different cost. So depending on what you want to spend, you can do that. Now, peasants are free, but again, they do not provide a lot of blood. So now, we can just go feed a bit. And I also summoned a dog. I've got my pet now. Nosewise, what a great name. So there's my free pet that I was able to bring in. Levies are no longer the name of the game, and here's my rats over here that I summoned earlier. Now, if you want to win your wars, you need to worry about your knights more than anything else at all. They have very high prowess, so anything you can do to improve your knights is a very good call. They can take on thousands of humans. Now, if you have like 6,000 humans, maybe one or two vampires will be taken down, but you'll take heavy casualties. Which is why you're not also having to worry about domains. In fact, anytime you get a new title, it's going to reduce how many domains you can hold on to. So don't even worry about that. You just need to worry about controlling your lands, but also maintaining your very powerful knights. I mean, these fellows over here, they're very good at fighting, as you can see. They're enhanced by a bunch of disciplines or spells and things like that. That's just some of the new gameplay options you have. Now let's talk about the War of the Princes, which is a period of conflict in vampiric history that began not long after Constantinople was sacked in 1204. There were many issues that caused this conflict, but the most prominent catalyst was the Magus Tremere killing Salat. He was an ancient vampire who was devoured by Tremere, which upended all of vampiric society. Now we're going to play the Shadow Reconquista, a Christian La Sombra clan in Iberia. The La Sombra are some of the most skilled manipulators and have embraced religion to vindicate their power, not out of any real reverence for the god. Now it's not going to be a whole lore lesson, but to let you know, vampires call themselves Cainites because they trace their lineage from Cain, the first child of Adam and Eve and brother killer. Behold all the might and fury of our Shadow Reconquista. We have much to do and I know of a way to get a lot of prestige. Now, we're not going to indulge in human incest. That would be wrong, but I am going to marry my granddaughter. I'll gain a lot of prestige if I do that. Here we go. Here's me. There she is. She's only 40, so she was recently turned. It's right over here. I'll take it. But look over here. 700 prestige for her and for me. That's really good. Perfect. All right. For my lifestyle, you've got your typical lifestyle choices over here. Sure. You also have other choices, which can help you with abilities, perks, spells, all of your stuff related to disciplines. Like over here, we've got rapid reflexes, hostile scheme resistance up by 15. These are very good. Now, before I enhance my abilities through all of our disciplines and all that, like phlegmatic, sanguine, animal, where you can shape shift and become much more powerful, I'm going to focus on intrigue. I'm here to cause issues. There we go, Skullduggery. I'm about scheming. I want to pick up whatever I can to create my own schemes out there. Prepared for anything, kidnapper. Like, I want to kidnap people. That sounds great to me. That sounds like fun. Okay. After that, I've got one title here. For the Shadow Reconquista. You know what, granddaughter, wife? I'm going to cast a vote for you. But we have another vote right over here. 
for the Duchy of Castile. That's going to be my granddaughter wife again. She's also my marshal. She's not very good at that, so I'm going to swap her out. Let's go over to the council real quick. Now, imagine you've got someone who's really good, whose stats are very high. Just turn them into a vampire if they're human. Like over here, plus six to prowess just for being a vampire. And unless you're killed, you can live forever. Part of the La Sombra clan. Now, she is a legendary blade master, plus 12 to prowess. But here she has dominate, potence, plus seven. Then over here, obtenebration, plus three. It's all about the darkness and embracing it. Now, I'm going to turn you into my chancellor because, my god, the current guy we have is really bad. You only have a skill of eight, Count Philippe. Outside of my heir, or my son, not my heir, no one's really good at their jobs. And I can't really hire too many people. I'm very poor right now, but he's got a skill of 25. And he's a vampire as well. It's pretty all right. I mean, we're all pretty much going to be decent at fighting. Which means we need people who have very high skill points when it comes to that. So I've got my extra prestige. Here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to invite some champions because I need them to come fight for me. I also need more money and we could also fight a war. I'm going to get a new claim eventually. I could negotiate some alliance. Who's over here? Here's my half-brother. All right, sure. I'll ally you, half-brother. We've got some active... Let's see, elections going on. I could create my kingdom. I need a lot more money for that. That will give me a lot of power if I make my kingdom. Yeah, that would be nice to have. So we'll do that later. We got Lyon and Castile as well. But more importantly, we need to go out there and declare some wars. Now you can get married too. That's my son. I'm going to find someone for him. I don't know who yet. We could always turn her. Now you're intelligent, young lady. Yeah, sure. She's got some decent traits. She'll be able to help him out. We'll do that. We can turn her too. I don't really need concubines, do I? I could modify some contracts. And there's a lot more to it, as you can see here. The first tradition, the covenant. We could enforce it. Now, these are just all about rules, including vampires. And I'm not going to go into grand detail about all of them because I would be here making a lore video instead if I did that. So I'll look at this and I'll go over my choices. I've gone over the kindred contact, kindred being vampires, which is a very vampire thing to say to start with. We're all about legal contracts here. The first tradition, it's all about me being able to convert them or even people in their lands. I don't really care that much. Then we have the domain, whether or not I could take their titles or not. Let them keep their titles. Then I could tell them what they're able to sire. It could be ghouls, it could be kindred, nothing at all, or anything. I don't really care that much. Then the accounting. That's where I can say, hey, look, you've got to swear to me. You've got to drink of my blood and swear to me, which gives me a bit more influence and power over them. Then we have the destruction. That's where I can call a hunt on them. That's a really bad thing. A blood hunt will see them destroyed. Now, we also have over here the masquerade. It's all about how secretive we're going to be when it comes to humanity. If you're defying the masquerade, that means you're showing off your vampire abilities or people know what you're doing and you're being rather open about it. So over here, we could be lax, we could be strict. I'm going to have all the power in Iberia, so I don't really care that much. Then we have a blood tithe. Now that's all about them supplying me blood, just people for me to eat from. Then finally, feudal taxes. I could use some money. Let's elevate that tax rate. It's not a lot, but I want it anyway, so I'll take it right now. And done. Now, I would like to fight a war. It shouldn't be too difficult. My grandchild wife is by far my most powerful warrior, which is pretty funny to me. So we'll go fight him. We'll need more claims later, but for now, we have claims. We can go fight some people. So raise all here, and you're going to see quickly how important it is to have great champions. I mean, she's got a skill of 48, which is incredible. Now we're married, by the way. And here's a bit of information about the Shadow Reconquista. They'll teach you a bit about the lore as you play, too. Iberia is a traditional center of power of Clan La Sombra, but the mortal Reconquista has plunged the Magisters into a bitter civil war. To the north, Sylvester de Ruiz leads the official Christian Clan La Sombra and has the clear ambition of ruling all of Iberia. You must take notice of his ambitious vassals, though, like the Ambrosia Luis Moncada or Lucita of Aragon. To the south, after decades of infighting, the Muslim La Sombra, who call themselves Ashra, have found in Badir of Andalusia a worthy and proven sultan. 
Elsewhere, new and old princes, from regal Ventru to feral Gangrel, take notice of the weakness of the Magisters and wait for the right moment to strike. Oh, we're not going to lose. But there she is. She's right down over here. She has a lot of power. 823 men, 7 champions, 40 prowess total. Oh, I'm going to have her killed. Don't you fret about that. Now, my wife is going to help me out. We're going to work on intrigue all together. Then I'm going to assign my vassal over here, who hates me a lot, that role. He's very bad at his job. I mean, very, very bad. All right, you're my new heir. My daughter, wife, queen. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me that. That's awful. Anyway, let's move to the east. I have one champion over here. I'm going to need a lot more money. You know, I could embrace you. Let's do that. I want her to join me in time. They have 512 warriors. I'm going to go after their capital right away. I wanted to fight them, but they're moving. What's over here? Now, how do I like to hunt? Deceit. That's my choice. Footpad. And that would give me, let's see. I like to feed on the blood of the rabble. Not me. No. Not me at all. And what's over here? I like to get sleeping victims. I mean, that's pretty traditional. I'll take that one. 15 gold, 2 intrigue. And here's another trait. Plus 2 to prowess. It's all about being able to conceal myself. Done. Okay. Hold on now. I've already done that. Do I get to pick 2? Interesting. I'll take Familius. Perfect. So now I've got 2. And I'm feeling a bit stronger because of it. Oh, I can inherit a little bit more land if I take out a leader. You're a vampire too, over 300 years old. I'll have to go take her out one day. The little army is moving. I'm taking their capital. Probably come down over here though. They're coming after my capital now, so we'll just ignore them and shoot our way down because I don't want them taking over my capital. That's a slap in my face. What now? Oh, a secret. So evidently this fellow, let's see, you only drink the blood of the willing. Well, that's pretty weak, man. I'm going to have to kill you for that one day. <laughs> you just wait until I get more unlocks for my intrigue. I'm going to be able to do some evil, evil stuff. Let's move over here now. All right, here we go. I can slow down because we have a battle going on. They have 500 men. I have over 700. My champions are probably much better. You have only 18 prowess? Really, kid? Oh, you're done for now. He's done for. Look at that. Maimed. One champion gone. We did lose a lot for sure, but it doesn't matter. It's all about our champions. So we did win. Let's head back up north. Gotta go take what we can. That gave me... 60 fame, 30 devotion. How many? Oh, wow. 204 kills. Seven people killed over 200. My levies, I mean, they're only there to provide bodies, you know. What now? Another secret. Interesting. 12th generation. All right. Let's move on now. A new archbishop as well. well that's good to know. And you endorse me. I like this guy. He's a good guy. 10 learning total. A vibrant court. So we now have a new unlock over here. I mean, that's a nice legacy to have. So everyone who comes on in will have plus 10 to opinion. Not like really the best thing in the world, but I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it for now. All right, let's close everything out and take over their capital. It shouldn't take too long. No. It does seem like trying to embrace someone isn't cheap. 500 piety. I'm not going to do that right now. No, we're going to leave her alone. Can't happen. That would be way too much for me. So we've got to wait. Now, I've got some options in life. And, I mean, they could still buy for me, but only as mortals. I could blood bond Anton. That means that we're going to drink each other's blood, but he's going to be my thrall. That sounds really good to me. Let's do that. Let's try that out. Now, our buddy over here is the count of a location that I'm not going to be able to take over directly. So I might as well have some power over him. Perfect. 
All right, we're finding out more secrets, like what generation of vampires they are. The war is now over, and I don't have the money to press that claim. I'll have to wait. I need more money. Thankfully, the war is over, so we can end it right away. Perfect. Look at that. We own a little bit more land. I'll have to give it up, though. I'm going to find some vampire to give it to. All right, so over here, legally, I would have a lot more power. Limited crown authority. I'm going to take that. I've got plenty of prestige for decisions. Got Shadow Reconquista, but I would need to control all of Iberia, which I do not. That would take some time. Then I'll complete my Shadow Reconquista. Oh, that would be nice over here. Faith in Shadows. That requires so much. Clan La Sombra is at war with itself since the succession of the Ashera movement. This has weakened the Sea of Shadows hold on the Mediterranean, and it needs to stop now. Yeah, the Sea of Shadows, they're not nearly as powerful. It's led by Lord Montano, the Shadow of the Sea of Shadows. Over 1,000 years old. That's rather old. That's ancient. I'm going to find someone new to give land to. I don't know who yet, though. Now, you're pretty good at fighting. I could give you a title, or I could consume you. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give you a title. Here you go. You're now the Count of Vizcaya. Now, we have another battle to fight. That much is true. Let's go have a look real quick. It's right over here. Molina. Got to take that over. The war now begins. I've got to look. Ah, here we go. A rally point. Raise all here. We're at three speed. Four speed will probably be sufficient. Now, let's go fight their army. We can hopefully make it there in time. Let's move. Oh, they're moving down. I'll join them. So right now, they're defending in the hills. And what's over here now? He found no secrets. No, keep on looking. You're not done looking. I'll tell you when you're done looking. We have over 900 men now. Oh, no, 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 no. You get to fight right now. My champions are much more powerful, and I'm going to land very powerful vampires. Took one down. Let's go look over here. That gave me what? We lost only 74 of our levies. Not a day goes by without hearing some new inconsequential matter being brought to my attention in court. Interesting. I could tell them to get out of my sight. But we do have an intrigue challenge. I could gain weak hooks on them. Let me hear this one more time. A weak hook. I gain a little bit of stress. You know what? We'll do that. I don't really care who's in the right, honestly. Philippe. There you go. Now I've got a hook on him. That's what I want. So my champions killed 242. Not bad. Their champions barely killed anyone. Let's quickly win, because eventually I'll need to fight the Midnight Crescent. We also unlocked a new rulership. Nice. Ordained rulership. I'll look at that later. It's really good, though. So you're over 400 years old as well, and you hate me a lot. As I hate you, by the way. It's over here. We have our secrets. What little secrets we do have. Tenth generation. I mean, it's not much... Got a few secrets on a few people. I want you to convert, but I need a bit more on you then. That's fine. I just want everyone here to follow me. Follow me as they well should. Find spouse. Huh. There's really no point in doing that right now. Anyway, let's finish our war. I'll worry about him later and also my council as well. We just need to finish up our war. There's very little that they have. And now it's over. Look at that. She's lost. She has very, very little. That's okay. I'm just here to break them down a little bit. It gives me one more domain. I could also get more fighters like that. Let's have a look over here. You're a vampire at 39. What a lucky age. You're chased. You know what? Give me some money. I could use some money right now. Sure. Sure. I don't need to worry about alliances, and I think we'll probably fight another war very soon. As a reminder, it's really not important for you to have high levies. I did ask around, and it's more important that you have very powerful knights, and you raise them well, and you treat them well, and they fight for you. Otherwise, you're just going to get overwhelmed in battles. So I'm not going to worry about levies too much. Hopefully my army will be sufficient, and we can go out and fight anyway. There are locations I need to conquer. Galicia, it's right over here. Or could I come after you right now? Not yet. Not yet. I need to cast this belly on him. I come over here. 
I'm going to pick one up. I did pick up a new fellow to uh, be my archbishop. As you can tell, he is a very beautiful vampiric man. His name is Michael Scott, and he's not doing very well. But he's kind of stuck like that, you know? All right, let's have a look over here. I could go after her. She has one ally. I'm going in. I'm going in right now because I want to do that. Now, I also want to show you something that I'm going to do later on. It's foul, it's evil, and it'll cause me to lose a lot of piety. But when I want to have chaos, Diablerize, that's my option to consume another vampire. It looks like my chance to do so is very low, but if I could just kill her, if I could get rid of her somehow, that would be the best thing possible. Because all these lands over here would probably break up. It's probably only united because of her. So if I were to get rid of her, they would have no chance. Now I've got some champions on my side. Let's see what we can do together. All together, all of us here. There we go. My dear son, he says. That's my father. My vampiric father. You can make some alliances and call them in. And that would give you extra champions, which would dramatically change up battles and their fates. I also came over here to a feast. I could spend 150 prestige. Oh, come on now. You know what? What a show you put on. I'll gain the stress. I'll take the stress for now. There we go. All right, so we're heading on out to go fight them. I don't see their friends. Ah, there they are. Farewell, my grandson. Goodbye. And I lost a lot of stress, but here they are. They've got some friends, and I should probably call in people to help me. At least him, you know? We'll do that. Come on. That'll be... Oh, what's over here now? I've learned of a secret... Thank you. That's my spy master helping me out. Much appreciated. Apulia. That's very far away. I mean, if you want to come over here and help me out, that's fine. But could you indeed make it? I don't know. Anyway, here we are. And I have one person coming to help me. My great-grandson. He's way over here. I've got ties all over. He's a okay combatant. I've seen better. I've been trying to focus on just, like, elevating my friends, all of my vampiric knights who fight for me. Ooh. They're in my lands now. Alright, so we're about to take this location, then we'll come down and fight them directly myself. I know they've got many friends out there. I've got some friends, too. Here they are. Here are my allies. Let's go down now. We'll come on down and fight them. They're moving again. I would very much like to beat them in combat. Let's go. Let's meet. There we go. We're at three speed. The battle is beginning. Let's watch it play out. See, again, it all comes down to your champions. And look who I have now. I've captured someone. Ah, there's your wife. So I wonder what I should do to you. You know what? I want to torture you a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm trusting. Oh, well. Let's torture away. Oh, the sweet kiss of the whip. It might look innocent, but it can separate flesh from bones just as well as any knife. A truth Count Natasio is soon to experience. He will be sleeping on his stomach for quite some time. It had to be done. There we are. I'm feeling great, though. I'm feeling okay. So we beat them. I lost a few levies, but again, that was never important. I was going to get more claims over here, but I think we're doing just okay. We're going to hopefully be able to take most of what they have in one quick go. Now, the war's already over. I just glanced down and I saw that. So that was easy. Great. I got the Duchy of Asturias. Perfect. I can nominate a new successor. That's going to be my um, daughter wife. And we're going to cancel that out real quick. So we easily, easily beat them. That was phenomenal. They killed 411. My levy's got 15. Yeah, you did it, guys. All right. That was pretty sweet. I'm currently working on Celerity Focus. I want to focus completely on some of my own personal vampiric abilities. I thought that would be very nice. I don't know. I kind of want to torture him a little bit. I don't want to just come over here and give him a few issues, you know? I could demand a conversion. You shall convert while you're in my jail. Now, I'll let him go. I'm going to do that, though. I've got too many held duchies, so I need to give something up, don't I? Yeah. 
I've got Nevada over here, so I'm gonna give that to someone. Let's see. It could be you. It could be you, boy. I'm gonna grant you a title right now. Yeah, that should work out. Boink. And now look at him. He's a duke. I'll have to get a new chancellor, which is okay. Got my way. And I guess I need someone much better. Oh, much better. Yeah, we're not very good at having uh, chancellors who can do a darn thing. But everything else is looking really good, though. All right. Let's have a look around here. It's an active election. Understood. I've already made my choice. I can fight more people. So that's not over yet. But I wonder, what can I do to some of you? If I could murder again, if I could just get rid of her. Just consume. I know that you rule a kingdom. I feel like I had a higher chance before. There. I was looking at it. We've got some... Oh, wow. 19... 25 prowess. Outstanding fighters. I've got plenty of outstanding fighters. But I could just kind of, like, experiment over here a little bit. Torture a bit more. Yeah. I might learn a secret or something. I want to know some secrets out there in the world. Alright, so you're looking very weak, Duke Flavius. I just need to find someone who I can break down. See, I've got a higher chance to eat him. What about over here in Toledo? But you, that's my nephew. Oh, that's dark. I got very dark. I'm going to press some claims later. But I can't do that yet. Here's a new event. News from Russia. As the Mongol horde conquers its way from the steppes to throughout Russia toppling mortals kings, with them comes large packs of lupins. This werewolf tribe calls it themselves the Shadow Lords. They slaughter both kind and kindred kind being humankind. Thus the rampage of the moon beast foreshadowed the coming of Gehenna. Not for me. I'm feeling okay. Alright, so we've got to watch out for that. I'm kidding. I don't have to. I'm very far from that. So I'll be okay. Oh, Vlad, are you doing okay, my friend? I suppose he's fine. There's Mercia. I managed to get a claim on our Mercia over in our lands. But it now belongs to her. I'm trying to consume her. I'm going to do that eventually. It's going to happen. So let's have a brief look real quick. We've got our cultures... I've been trying to convert people slowly, but I've been very busy getting new claims. The faith bit makes it very hard because everyone needs something new, you know? Everyone. If I get all of Hispania, all the power. I'll have a bit more power for sure. Hopefully some more allies too. All right. So here are my realms, and it looks like right now Toledo is really losing it. We're really, really losing it. You're vastly inferior. I do want that one little location. I can't bring them up over here, can I? Oh, I can. Good. All right. So they're all close by. Let's go fight them first. I need to go meet them in battle. There we go. Look at that. How quickly we just beat them. Boom. And then we move over here. We're not done. My granddaughter wife knows how to fight. Okay. She knows how to beat some people. It's very, very good at it. All right. We have another 902. I want to go beat them as well. Let's go do that. Oh, how dare you run from me. I'll kill my levies just to catch you. It doesn't matter to me. If I could just make it there in time. Because if I beat you, prestige and power and glory shall be mine. I don't think we'll catch them. So we'll just come back. If they want to come back and bother me, we'll go beat them too. Like, here's another group. There's just like multiple groups fighting today. I'm known for my dedication to my faith, which is nice. That right over here, faithful, more piety. I would like more piety to reform our faith, that would be very nice. So, my champions killed 15, right? And over here, 187. I just love watching them fight, I love watching them just get kills and just destroying people outright. You let them develop their vampire abilities, and they will truck through everything. It's awesome. Oh, in the ancient past, the sire of Inkara is him. Urbal, or Bell, had disappeared before her eyes when he was absorbed by the gigantic hand of earthbound demon Namtaru. Summoned by his whispers, Inkara came to Ishim Yerbal and fed him her blood. Ishim drank deeply from Inkara, and from each sip he emerged more and more from the liquid stone until finally he pushed her into the demonic hand to take his place. Now, calling himself the Thrice Damned, he was free again and explained to Inkara that she was the only sacrifice worthy of Namtaru. Oh god. Okay. He looks powerful. 62. Yeah, he's a powerful old vampire. 
crazy amount of levies too. But you never know. Those mortals might get lucky and actually off one of us. And you know, it would be cool to have some of the human factions because, you know, eventually one day the Inquisition would form and stuff. So humans can kill vampires. So it would be cool to see like some vampire hunting squads and playing humans and all that. I think that would be very fascinating. So we just took more or land. I've got too much land. I'll have to give it to someone who has like a really good claim eventually, which I shall do one day. But here's my nephew. Try to consume him. I'm not going to do that. What about you? I don't have any toys to come get you yet. I'll get a claim, I suppose, over here. I'm like slowly, slowly getting claims as I move through. I'm trying to conquer as quickly as I can. Your dear uncle, let's see, who? Oh, she belongs to you. 50 gold, I could use some gold. We do have a dangerous faction, we'll have to watch out for them. We have a dangerous faction. I've got to go look at their power. All right, so here's what I'll do. I'm going to send you a gift just to kind of keep you busy for now. I'm going to sway you. Can I sway you as well? All right, I'll just fo focus on a guy who hates me a little bit more. We'll focus on him. And I'm going to blackmail you if I can. I know one of your secrets, you know. Oh, you don't really care? Okay. So it's no longer valid to send, so we'll wait and see in just a moment. And I need to give away a new location, so let's see here. We'll go to my court. Prowess, all very high. Not really what I need right now. Come over here. Here's a guest of mine. Blood sorcery. Got some people here who've got some... Oh, here we go. You're from a house. You have no claims. I don't think you would be so bad, though. Just looking at who would be decent. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I probably should tell you. I took some concubines. Here's my granddaughter, woman, and sister-in-law. Here's over here my great-granddaughter, my other concubine. I'm just keeping it in the family. What? What? <laughs> I'm a vampire. I can do what I want. Alright, so we gotta watch out for these factions over here. I'm just trying to work on their discontent. Looks like right now it is falling down. It's a liberty faction. My wife loves me. She's okay with me. Oh, man. This lady. She's doing a lot. If I fight her, though, I have a feeling it'll be a bit much. A holy war. I would want more land from her than that, but it would be what I could get, probably. I'll have to consider just fighting her outright. Now, you're the one that I really want to get. We've got some claims over here, but I have to wait again. Here we go new claim and you can move a little bit faster because you're not having to worry about your leader dying unless someone assassinates me then that could certainly happen now we've joined the high medieval era we'll look at new innovations later we gotta we'll go work on that I'm currently working on battlements at the moment but i mean that would let me upgrade a castle which is nice all right let's see to align him to my interests i have found an opportunity if i pass i get some prestige and he'll like me more great see that perfect now he likes me more, which means that, that faction should be a little bit more diminished. Yeah, it's going down a little bit. He likes me more. I got to work on her next. I could just try to kill her outright. I wish I could blackmail her, but I can't do that. I wonder, could I just hmm, try to murder you? Not a high enough chance as of late. I could demand your conversion. You might take it. I need a better hook than what I have currently, though. I'm trying to find ways that I could, I could seduce her. Oh, oh, no, no. She's definitely not for that. She looks kind of grumpy anyway, so we shall see. I could just grant you a title. You know what? Come over here. Come over here, kid. Yeah, I had a feeling she would be angry with me. I did kind of take her lands. But now you have a child who has land who likes me. Diablerie. To not just kill, but devour the soul of another being is among the most heinous actions possible. Most kindred regard it as the worst of crimes, yet there's nothing the beast desires more. So she's with in my clutches right now. I lose 500 piety, which is a lot for sure. I'll go on a pilgrimage. I would lose stress because I am ambitious. I'll lose blood hunger. I'll get blood potency 4, which gives me a bunch of boost to my stats. A low chance to gain some really good stuff too. So I'm going to Eat. 
I wonder. Oh, she's gone. Look at that. She's completely gone. Now he's much, much weaker. That is cool as hell. But I need some good old-fashioned piety if I want to go fight them. I ate her. And I gained power because of it. So you can gain more power if you do that. Look at that. My stats have gone up. Let's go to the Vaticano. I'll lose money if I do that, though. Shoot, I have to wait a moment to gain some money. I wonder if I can delay it. Yeah. Let's wait a moment. Got to get 100 at least. How good of a fighter? 24? You're okay. You're okay. But this should really cause him to collapse now. I think the Midnight Crescent is not going to be able to hold up at all. I'm just here to get some piety. All right, I've swayed him even more. He likes me more, so that's how I'm handling my factions. All right, I'm going to try to sway you over to my side. It's just better if I just keep on... I just keep on choosing new people to sway, because then they just like me. They like me and all is well. The Midnight Crescent, I'll probably want to fight them first if I can. All right, we have the money that we need, so we'll go back over here. Because I need the piety, and we're going to the Vatican. So let's go do that. It is time to depart. All right, a rude story. So someone is making fun of me. It's over here now. Tell me more of this king. I'm a vampire. I don't care that much. It got rid of more stress, though. The arrival. All right, that gave me 375, and I've gained a trait called Pilgrim, giving me more piety. So look at that. I'm back in the positive. That's all it took. And I got to eat another vampire, which was delicious, by the way. All right, now if I want to, I can go after that duchy, and I do want to do that. I think that would be nice, just to conquer even more of their lands. I could also... No, it's only that one. Okay, well. Boink. The war begins. I came over here, and I'm going to use my blood and discipline to build an army. It'll cost a bit, but I thought it might be fun. So there we go. We have some ghouls over here. 200. 100 heavy infantry, 100 levies, special soldiers all together. So, I mean, that's a good way to, like, boost up your numbers if you need to do that. Raise all here. Now we're all together. We can combine. That's 1,600 troops total. We need to now move. We've got to go attack. Attack what? Whatever we can. And what I could do then, if it's all based on knights, I don't have to wait here. Naturally, I would want to go defend them if I can, but just come over here real quick. I'm going to station more besiegers. It's all about me having vampires. And not the soldiers. I could besiege three locations simultaneously. I am a little bit lower on money. I decided to do that. So I'll have to watch out. I am in debt. I'm going to call anyone to war. And we can just go fight them if we want to. I'll make some money once I take these locations. So I'm not too worried about that. So here's what I'll do now. Station a few besiegers. And I think that's it. Let's find my elite army. Ah, they're over here. Okay, so that's where all of my elites are at. Second army. Understood. So that's where we need to... Move them away. It shall be me. I'll command. And now we'll go fight. And then I'm going to take... Let's see which army. You, and you'll come over here. All low quality, so not important. You'll see how numbers are just not what they used to be. It's all about the vampires. Boom. And it looks like our champion, our daughter queen, was wounded. But she'll hopefully be okay. All right, so I've got you in my clutches right now. I could blood bond you just to have some... Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's where I get him to drink from my blood and him from my blood. And at that point, I'm going to have some sway over him, which is nice. Like, give me money. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, now we can move down. Let's go attack somewhere. Doesn't matter where, really. We'll just go out and hunt down some armies. We can go down to their capital. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go say hi. I know how to say hello. Alright, that's so another location taken. Let's go over here now. We can combine them. Oh, here's a group. I see them now. I need to probably go guard them if I can. Let's move. Oh, that's another group. Okay, well, I'll still fight them too. I don't care. I'll fight them all. Let's meet. You and me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The local commoners are moving to Olmedo, the capital of my brother. Here's some gold. <laughs> Enjoy. Alright, they're done too. 
See that? But levies are great for distracting, for sure. All right, we're at 80%, so we're nearly done. We're nearly done with our war. It was a very quick war because, again, I got rid of their leader, the queen. I ate her. I consumed her. Kind of hot. All right, <laughs> let's just do what we're doing. Yeah, the ghouls are just fodder. It's like if you're, like, extremely wealthy, then you could do that, for sure. They're just kind of meant to be there to provide that fodder for you. They got two kills, hey. Got some more people. We're at 95%. We just need one more location. Let's come over here. Five speed it. Because they have like nothing to stop me with. I'm just here to take what I want. Oh, right. That's my concubine. I'm going to investigate myself. And we're done. So now, boom, I just took a crap ton of land from him. Oh, are we fighting you now? Very well. I'm coming over here. Don't worry about it. I know you have your little army, your little baby army. I've got too many domains. I'm going to find some people to take that. I've got way too many right now. And that war is over too. Maybe you should not have come over here, huh? Maybe that was the plan to just get out of here. All right, let's go look at the council. I could use a new claim or two. Yeah, I could use a new claim or two. We have all of my lands. All shaded out for the most part. Those are held by me directly. Good to know. Salamanca. I do want that one as well. It belongs to the Baronies of Avalon. What? Who actually owns it? Right. I don't like that. Maybe I need a claim. Maybe I need a claim and then I need to kill off your family. I haven't decided. So we have one disabled building. That is a large cell. One assassin cell. I'm going to turn it into something else once I have more money. I don't have the money right now to change it. Or I just give it to someone else. My granddaughter wife. Hopefully she'll be okay. Let's see if my blood bond works. 60% chance of hunger will increase. I'll try it out. He's been blood bonded to me. Now what to do with him? That's a weak blood oath hook. I could use that for something in the future. Who knows? Doesn't really care for me too much. That's fine too. That is no marriage that we need. Could kill him outright. That would be interesting, but I'm not going to do that either. Let's have a look now. Yeah, the Midnight Crescent, they're weak. They're very, very weak now. That's a good thing. A very good thing. Now, I could take your duchy. Oh. The Anoctus Rulers may join the war. That's quite the army. Well, good for you. You've got a lot of levies for such a small force. Very good for you. I gave away some titles. I gave one to one of my champions who wanted to leave my court. I could not permit that. So I've got to get more claims, which is not cheap. I sold off every... Here, I'm going to change it to what's over here instead. That's not cheap, but um, I sold off every single prisoner. That way, I would have a lot more gold. Now I have a blood bond. Do we have any factions? We do have two factions over here. I'm going to sway you now. And... I want you to convert. Let's see here, your faith is too strong. Ah, well, I tried, you know. All right, we're going to sway this guy. I've got my one little thing that I want to do right now. What's over here? The county? Yes, thank you. I've got more fame, more prestige than before. I want to come over here and grab another one. All of Braganza. Yeah, you get a lot of talented vampires. Like my marshal, Count Bravo, he's very good. I mean, look at what I've taken so far. I've taken a lot of Iberia. I suppose I can't make it my primary because I have an empire, which is fine. But we are still the Shadow Reconquista. <laughs> Enforce demands. That just means I have two more locations to conquer everyone. Now, I wanted to show all of you a big conclusion here, which is involving me just... Consuming a few more powers. I've become the greatest threat to everyone. And it's awesome. No, do not raise all here. That's a bad idea. That's too much. All right. We've got a little bit more time to go. And we're together. Let's go after them. We've got 2,000 men. Let's go see if we can go beat them without having to raise up more. All right. Let's slow it down. Look at this battle. That was quick. I was at the tail end of that, but we wiped them all out, it seems. So if we go over here real quick, they lost all 2,000. My vampires killed them all. It was so quick, too. They killed over five. Oh, wow. Yeah, 589. Insane. 
All right, champions. Well, let's go over to the east now. There's very little left for me to take. I don't even need that much of an army. Thank you for the additional taxes. Much appreciated. All right, that puts me at 61%. We'll come on down here to their capital. Because I can do that for fun. And my champions never die, so if you collect a bunch of powerful champions, unless they're being killed directly, you can do this. Oh, hi there. How are you? Interesting. Can't just eat you. That's lame. I wanted to eat them. All right, I could behead you. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, no, no, no. I can just eat them. Nice. I would spend a lot of piety, though, if I did that. Or blood potency. Yeah, let's eat. Ah, oh, delicious. Well, he's gone now. I get to take over his lands. I ate your leader. I'm stronger. I have one more leader to take on. Only one more. It's right over here. You're the Duchess, and I've got to take what you have. Only one more location. They've got a decently sized army, I suppose. All right, let's get together some more banners. Raise up my locals. That's all my locals. That's it. I need to go fight their commanders later, but uh, here's what we're doing for now. It's moving over there, the things we know. All right, she'll pay me 50 gold. If only I had some more powerful vampire abilities, but that's okay. Blood Surge, interesting. Killing time, I like that. Let's fight, I wanna to be tougher, better at tactics. So you can do stuff like buff yourself up too. 50 prowess. I mean, I'm a commander. I'm a leader like that, so it doesn't really matter too much unless like dueling events pop up, but you know, you could do that still. Let's just take what they are trying to keep. And that's good, let's go down now. Are they not moving to my lands? I don't see them moving to my lands. Yeah, look at that, they have quite a few levies. I mean, all in all, we probably have a lot of levies. It's just, I can only access so many. All right, let's come over here real quick. Oh, there they are. I found them. Hold on, hold on. 2400, let's go fight them. If I lose a battle, then great, but I'm just here to try some stuff out. I've got a decent commander. Very nice. Not that it really matters, because again, my vampires are too strong. <laughs> they had 13 champions, too. I lost all but my champions, so now we can go back. Let's go over here. That was a great win for me. My guys killed 742. Can I help you now? Oh, it's you. Hey. You're looking kind of different, Marcus. I got him. I got your son. What am I going to do to him? I'm going to burn him at the stake. There we are. I can do that now. Oh, I got a new trait. Not a great one. Dynastic Kinslayer. Whoops. That's okay. I forgive myself. All right, so there's no one back over here, right? No, nope, no one. Just here to take a little bit more. We'll come over here and get that barony as well. I shall form my Shadow Reconquista. Good, you have a good friend, my wife. I'm fine with that, I suppose. Yeah, and there's going to be like more events for certain named characters and all that good stuff. So let's see. 100% it's done. That war is over. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A member of my dynasty. No wonder. Well, doesn't matter. It is done. The bloody Spanish La Sombra Civil War is now over. With only you standing triumphant among the ruins, it was a hard-fought battle, but only you saw it as a stepping stone towards your inevitable ascension to greater power. This decisive and complete victory has offered you great cloud and opened many doors. As a matter of fact, the coveted position of Master of the Sea of Shadows, and thus all of Land La Sombra, has been offered to you. It is obviously a trap, and they all expect you to fail miserably and then go back to their petty squabbles without your rising fame annoying them. You certainly intend to make them regret this petty scheme. You have tamed Iberia after all. Taming the Mediterranean and some decrepit elders can't be much more difficult. Climbing the ladder one step at a time. 1,000 renown for my clan. Our level of splendor goes up by one. I get Sea of Shadows. Hostile Shadows. Oh, look at that. Interesting. A lot more prestige. 
but their chance to succeed with their hostile schemes goes up by 20. So you would want whatever you can get to deny that. There we go. A sea of shadows. Now we are well known. We are stronger than we ever have been. It's crazy the type of power that I have now. I lead everything and I have lands all over. So that does open me up to other issues. But I also have one tremendous army. There's just a little bit of an issue over there right now. But that's okay. But we are now done. Lord Sylvester, you have done it. You're now truly the Lord of Iberia. And I hope that all of you enjoyed that. I was just kind of like showing you what you can do. There's a lot more, of course, but... And they will be adding more. I mean, it's a brand new mod. And why don't we... Oh, hello. They eat you. Darn. I was hoping to eat her. Anyway, there's going to be a lot more that they'll be adding in. I think they said they have like some type of expansion planned later on in the year, which is pretty darn cool. So, anyway... Thank you for watching, everyone. Check it out down below. And as always, until then.